In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways we can create decorative borders using PNG image patterns right within Xtool Creative Space. So what I've got here are two PNG image patterns, and I've just imported them by going to File and Import Image, and all they are are a raster file of a black pattern with a transparent background, so you can see through. These are a raster image, so you get this pixelation on the edges. And I'm just going to move them out of the way. So what we're going to need is a plaque with a border. So there's two ways you can do this. One is to go to the shape panel and go to border. And there are some solid shapes here. And if we just choose one, and I'm going to resize that to be about 200 and then align in the center. If I put that onto the score process and right click and release compound vector, I'm just going to delete both of these inside lines. Then choose the large one, offset inner by about 12 millimeters and confirm. Once we have that, I'm going to select both, right click and choose make compound vector. And you can see it's correct if we put onto the engrave process. But for this example, I'm going to turn that off. I do have a different sign here. And if I bring those back on, as these are separate vectors, we need to choose both, right click and choose compound vector. Once we have that, I'm just going to make sure it's aligned in the center. And I'm going to copy and paste and move one out of the way. Then, I'm just going to copy and paste one of these image patterns and I'm going to align that to the center. Once we have that, you can see that the pattern is overlapping the plaque. So all we need to do is select both and then right click and choose create mask. Then we can see we're going to keep the dark area and the lighter shaded area will be discarded once we click done. This is still an image file, so the next thing we need to do is click on trace. This will then trace the clipped image and create vectors for us. So once it's done that, we just need to click save. Then what we've got is the original clipped image and some new vectors. So I'm just going to delete the original image and with the new vectors, I'm going to right click and ungroup. And with them all still selected, right click again and make compound vector. This just cleans it up a little bit. And then I'm going to right click one last time and move to a blue color. Then with the copied original plaque, all I'm going to do with that is choose a line center and that should line everything up perfectly. If we put the blue onto the engraved process, you can see we have a clipped image that follows the curvature of the plaque. And then if you wanted to, you could choose to release compound vector and choose this inside to be a different process such as score, or you could cut it out the same as the outside edge. The only drawback of doing this this way is if I put this back onto the score process and zoom in, the traced image isn't perfect. You can see that some parts go outside of the original vectors, such as here, here, and some parts are inside. I hope you can see that here. So it's not a perfect fit. It's close, but because we're working with bitmaps, raster images, what you tend to get are these blurred edges, so it can't do a perfect trace. It can get close, just not close enough. So the second way I'm going to show you is much better, much cleaner, and much more precise. And I just want to jump in quickly to say if you need any professionally drawn high quality designs, then please check out my Etsy store and Design Find store. I've got hundreds of designs and there's literally something for everyone.
so please check them out. Links in the description below. And back to the video. So the second way I'm going to show you, we're going to use the same plaque, but well, I'm just going to move that out of the way for now. And I'm going to copy and paste one of these patterns. And for the sake of it, we're just going to use the same one. If I line that to the center, the first thing we need to do is click on trace. This then traces the whole image first. If we click save and click off, we can now see that we have the original image, which we can delete, and then the traced vectors. With them selected, I'm just going to right click and ungroup, then right click again and make compound vector. And I'm just going to do it one last time and choose a blue color. Now, just to make sure that's centered, all we're going to do is copy and paste this plaque and make sure that's centered. And then this time, we're going to select both as they're all vectors now and choose Unite at Overlap. This then clips the new pattern to the plaque shape. And if we were to put that onto the engrave process and choose the blue color again, this time, when I copy and paste this plaque and align to center, I'm just going to click off and zoom in and choose that new blue pattern put onto the score process. This time, you can see that it actually follows the shape perfectly. There's no overlapping, there's no, nothing over, nothing under. It follows the shape perfect. And if I put that to the engrave process, you can see it's a perfect clip. So this is my preferred process to make things as a vector first rather than using bitmaps first because the pixelized edge of the original image isn't perfect. But if you were to turn that to a vector first, then you will get a perfect clip. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.